guys going guys my name is Adrian and for this video I'm gonna be talking to you about my adventure in Sun Hill and yes I am currently in my hostel room I gotta do what I gotta do son so after spending a week in the hottest place of Colombia which is Cartagena it was so humid it was finally time to move on I finally got onto an overnight bus to Sun Hill and this was my first time riding an overnight bus in Colombia first time being riding an overnight bus in Colombia. It was 15 hours in total. Yes, it was long. Alright, check this out. Check this out. So, I finally got to Sun Hill and it was time for adventure. First on the list was paragliding. Those are the equipment for paragliding. I think I'm ready. Guys, in my life, I have never done paragliding before and it was only $35 for 25 minutes, which I think was pretty damn cheap. So I said, why not? Pretty nervous at the beginning because they told me all I had to do was run when they said to run. But I have never done it before, so I was literally thinking of anything that can go wrong. I run anyways, like I had any option. Until I felt so tense and felt really dizzy. But me being me, I ignored it. Until the pilot said, if you want to puke, just let me know because I'm used to it. And then, I almost puked. But, he told me to just breathe. And the next thing I know, I was fine and we went down. Whew! Ah! Uh. Man, that was good, paragliding. I kind of felt sick. Felt a little bit sick. Uh, almost. <laughs> so after paragliding, it was time for rafting. It was something I had to do in San Diego, and it was known for it. Rafting. That was so laughing. Before the white one, <laughs> before the rafting. Uh, because of its rapid five, six being the most dangerous rapid, okay? I need to do it. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning, we were warming up with little rapids, you know, like between rapid two and rapid three. It was fun, you know, we got wet and we were laughing, we swam in the river. Until this happened, it was different. The boat flipped, I was under the water for a second, went up the water. Next thing I know, I was underneath the boat. In this instant, I tried not to panic. As soon as I got out of the boat, the safety just kept yelling at me to swim to the side of the river. The next thing I know, I got left behind. into two pieces and I knew from then on that was pretty serious. I was thinking that could have been my bone. And I was pretty scared and didn't know what to do. I was alone. Time was ticking. Hey, hey, hey. myself if I should go out of the river and start walking or keep going with the rapids to try to catch up with everyone else 
So I tried doing that, but it was really hard not to get sucked into the middle of the river. And the water was so shallow that I got hit by the rocks. Luckily, I found someone who also got left behind. So, I got out of the river and we walk up together. At the end, all I could do was laugh it off. Is everyone alive? <laughs> Dude, good? That, was, yeah, that was crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you just swam to the side and climbed up. Yeah, yeah. I tried swimming like on the side, but it's too, too shallow. Yeah, yeah, too shallow. And I was pretty happy that I ended up with no injury. Oh man, it's so good. But on a serious note, I'm overjoyed that I actually flipped because it gave me a different experience. An experience that when things go wrong, you can't panic and you just have to trust your guts. That was a good time. A good experience. <laughs> really good. I've no. never... I've never it's been so night. scared. I've never been so scared before. Yeah. We flipped and I got scared. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Bye.